Welcome to this quick introduction to DPRO, the new lighting controller from Entech. This is a quick overview of the main windows and the workflow through DPRO. I will produce a set of more in-depth videos which explains each window and feature in more detail. The main window in DPRO is the starting point for loading and saving files and for exporting shows to DataGate format for embedded running. It's also where you access all the preferences for the application, including the which output devices you are routing your eight universes to, uh, what hardware you uh, have integrated, such as program wings or MIDI keyboards, and any audio settings. There's a terminal displaying useful information, and this here is the command line for entering commands in a similar manner to uh, regular lighting consoles. When you open a show you initially see two additional windows. The library window on the right hand side contains all the building blocks for your show including groups, palettes, queues and queue lists. The device browser shows the devices, the fixtures that are patched into the current show and the patching is done through the patch fixtures window which is similar to many applications. You have the output channels, the DMX output channels displayed on the right and on the left you have a list of manufacturers and devices which can be dragged into the device map. The device browser has three displays. The grid layout shows a simple grid of all the fixtures which is good for a large rig of um, traditional parkans or single channel dimmers. The physical layout is useful for rigs with more complex fixtures, intelligent movers or RGBs and this is designed to allow you to lay out the devices to reflect where they are in the physical rig. And there's a regular list layout as well. To program queues and palettes, you work with the program window, which has two panels. The left hand panel displays the attributes for the fixtures that are currently selected. And the recorder panel on the right hand side contains a list of all your attributes and optional effects. And the programmer has a built-in effects engine that's implemented using Python so we can extend it with new effects very quickly. From here you would save your queues and palettes. DPRO has a full palette mechanism that allows you to save palettes and reuse them um, in other queues to very quickly build complex looks. You can also build queue lists using the queue list window. In the queue list window, we have a timeline which reflects the crossfade times for each queue, and these can be edited quickly using the mouse or graphically on the screen. You can also drag audio files into the queue list window to allow you to do synchronized playback of special effects along with the queue list. Once you've created your queues and queue lists for the show, you would assemble your show in the show control window. This is designed to be extremely effective when used on a touch screen. It consists of a panel of buttons and a panel of submaster faders. These can all be controlled um, from the keyboard or from MIDI controllers or from any of the NTEC wings. You can have unlimited numbers of buttons and numbers of tabs. It's loaded up simply by dragging and dropping your queues and queue lists from the library window. And the show control also shows multiple queue lists running simultaneously so you get a nice graphical overview of your show running. That's it for now, watch out for more videos.